Hello again YouTube, it's Skylar. Welcome back to my face. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing whether gender is a social construct. Now before we begin, for those who are not used to my channel, maybe arriving for the first time, I myself am a transgender woman, which means that I was born male and I transitioned from male to female. So with that said, let's get started. So. I've been hearing a lot of things lately about is gender a social construct and it's really concerning to me because this has turned into a polarizing issue and the reason why I say it concerns me is because I believe that we've set up a false dichotomy. Now let's start off with a basic assumption with the term is gender a social construct grammatically you are automatically saying, is it a social construct or is it not? When I believe that the answer is a little more nuanced than that. So let's start with the is not a social construct. So through looking at this, I'm going to use myself as an example uh, just to keep a few talking points here. I was born a male. I have XY chromosomes. I transitioned to female. I will always be biologically male. I'm not disputing that fact. For the until I die, I will always technically be biologically male. My chromosomes will always technically be X and Y. I'm not disputing that. I'm not disagreeing with anyone that's trying to tell me otherwise. I agree with you. I, I live in reality. I subscribe to reality and the reality is is that biologically, yes, I am male. That is a fact. Okay, so there's one fact there. Here's another one. Do I feel like a woman? Yes. That is a fact. I have and always have felt female. And I feel as though I'm in the wrong body. That is a fact. I'm not making that up. Believe me, I really wish I wouldn't have had to go down this path if there wasn't any other way. But that was the only way. This is the only way that I can feel normal. So I transitioned from male to female and psychologically I'm better. Okay, so there's the two facts there. Now, going back to the question, gender is not a social construct. In this context, that is a correct statement. It is not a social construct in the fact that I am biologically male. It is not a social construct in the fact that I feel like a woman. Those are two facts that are not socially constructed. No one socially constructed me to feel like a woman. No one socially constructed me to be born male. Now here's where the discussion gets a little more nuanced because people will say gender is a social construct. And to this, I also say that is partially correct. And to use a good example for this, let's go with the terms blue and pink. They're two spectrum colors on the visible light spectrum. Now we've typically associated pink with girl and blue with boy. But that doesn't mean anything because you can look back in history and for example previously before 1940 pink was assigned to boys and blue was assigned to girls. The colors themselves are completely arbitrary. Color does not have a gender. Pink or blue is not a gender. We socially constructed pink and blue to have a gender. So in this situation, in this context, yes, gender is a social construct. And we can see this in a variety of different ways, too, when it comes to things such as product design. Now, things such as razors and 
body wash and shampoo and other such hygienic products have no inherent gender. A razor blade or a shampoo bottle does not specifically identify as a specific gender. We made it up. We made up the gender construct to those items. Razor blades for women and razor blades for men are exactly the same. We've just assigned gender to them because we've socially constructed that aspect of our society. So yes, in this situation, in this context, it is also true that gender is a social construct. But again, I, and I want to stress this point very much, the context of whether gender is or is not a social construct is specific to the situation that you're applying it to and not the broad general over category that we seem to have polarized into a political issue. So, if you believe that gender is a social construct in certain circumstances and context, you are correct. If you believe that gender is not a social construct in certain circumstances and context, you are correct as well. Both sides are correct, and this is why there hasn't been a consensus, because they're both agreeing on the same side, or the different sides of the same coin. And this is where a lot of the political gridlock on this issue comes from, is because we're using bumper stick politics for a nuanced discussion about something that's not even political. Gender is not political. There is male and then there is female. And in rare circumstances, such as myself, there are situations where I have the biological desire to become from male to female. That is an indisputable fact as well. Transgender exists. I exist, therefore transgender exists, that's a fact. But in this situation, if you would argue that gender is a social construct based on my existence as a transgender woman, you would be incorrect because this applies to biology and psychology. And in those contexts, gender is not a social construct. So I hope that cleared the air for some people. I know that was kind of all over the place maybe, um, but until tomorrow's video, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.